I got Nico Thorpe in the car with me, boy. Nico, I gotta tell you, man. <laughs> the first time I saw you, the first thing I saw, I said, man, that dude got some style. Hey, man, Nico, I bro, it. you you look good, man. When you get all when you start getting into fashion like this, uh, man, uh, really when I started buying my own clothes, really, right? I started, you know, really getting into it, you know, color coordinating my stuff, right? But I like you know clothes and looking nice. Man, you you definitely got it, man. You're one of the sharpest right. Seahawks I ever met. Now, I, you know, I'm gonna break it down a little bit. I'm gonna kind of look a little bit. This is a little. Hold on. So you got two watches on though, bro. You got two yeah. watches. So if you needed to tell time, which arm would you look at? I look at my left. You know, <laughs> really, I wear two watches sometimes, man. Okay. I wear it all the time. This is my good luck watch, you know. I want to do, you know, a good job on this show right here. So I wore my good luck watch today. <laughs> good luck. Okay, man. Look, we, we going to go somewhere. What we going to listen to, man? What, something, something that you would listen to on game day to kind of get you going. On game day? Game day. What, what would you listen to? I'm probably going to slide. It's a couple things, but um, we'll probably start with some Migos. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Just to get we'll, it going. We'll let it play, man. We're going we gonna to ride, man. Just like we in the real car. Yeah, you heard this song before? Huh. No. 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 Yeah, Migos, man, they hot right now, man. And they from the crib. Now, when you, now, nowadays, you know, I'm old school, man. You know what I'm saying? I, they, they, they throwing it up. Ah, hey, hey. hey. <laughs> yeah, you, know you know what it is, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. 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 Uh, you know, you know, a lot of folks don't know, you know, I mean, man, you're a Seahawk now, but some things that, you know, I remember, I mean, you was on that national championship team, you played football at Auburn, yes, and you was on that team with Cam Newton, right? So I was Really, thinking, you know, Cam Newton, I feel like, you know, was on the team with me. Everybody always asks me, you play with Cam? Yeah. And I always reply, you know, Cam played with me. Cause I was there technically first, you know what I'm saying. Then Cam came a part of our team, and we did what we did. That's and, a good you point. know, that's my dog though. Yeah, that's a, now. Cam's in the fashion. Yeah. You in the fashion. Yeah. Now, did you and Cam swap ideas on fashion during that time? Nah, nah, nah. We ain't do nothing like that, you know. But you know, back then we ain't really, you know, when it was games and stuff. We wore the the, um, the sweatsuits. You know, okay. you wear your team sweatsuits, okay. you know, for like the Tiger Walk and stuff. So, you know, you really start to get, show your personality and stuff when you got in the league, you, you, do, you do your travel, you know, you get to suit it up, you know. So you what's, know, your, you what's your thoughts on the rompers? Because Cam Newton wear the rompers. Oh, you, good with, you good with the rompers? I ain't going to lie, man. Hey, hear me loud and clear. I'm not cool with the rompers, <laughs> but, you know, that's personal. <laughs> that's personal. Anything, any clothes you put on, you know, you, period, it's personal, but me, Nah, I'm not with the rompers. I just don't get it. You know, I seen Cam in a romper. I seen a couple, uh, you know, ex teammates in rompers. I ain't gonna say no names. You know what I'm saying? But I did. I did hit the boys up when I seen it on the IG. Like, what's good, bro? Like, come on now. But like I said, hey, to each his own, man. All right. Now, okay. Now you gotta, you gotta tell them because a lot of the guys around the locker room that I've asked about you, as soon as I say Nico Thorpe, they say, easy. Easy, yeah. Is, is that your deal? Is that <laughs> That's they say, me right there. Tell yeah. us about that. Easy is just something I, um, you know, I grew up saying when I was younger and it kind of followed me to college to, and when I would say it, everybody would just gravitate to it or just be saying it or somebody hit me up like man I'm all the way out here and so and so man they talking about easy man like what you what you got going on you know and then it just but it's just a phrase you could answer you know yes no you know what I'm saying like somebody say your name easy it's just you can use this in so many different ways to where that's why I feel like it's so catchy but then I took that you know and uh 
put it to the uh, the clothing the clothing line or whatever. Oh, hold on. You got a clothing line that say easy? I got a clothing line that say easy, man. It's, it's three Z's on it. E, Z, Z, Z. You know what I'm saying? Easyclothing.com. You can go get I got the T on right now. You, you know what I'm saying? You know I had to wear my tee, man. Like this this is my first original easy tee right here. Okay. You know what I'm saying? With like the uh wanted to do like the little urban, you know, the modern tees, not just the square bottom, you know, with the little extended or the little Euro cut, if right. you would. All yeah. Right. Easy. That's, Easy. That's it right there. So, hey, when you out there on the field, the fans, and they see you, and you do something, the whole crowd go, Easy. Hey, the day that happened, man, I'm going be, I'm to be a happy man. That'd be, that'd be tight. Oh, <laughs> man, it's the 12. That'd be, like, be tight. Easy. Easy. Yeah. I might have to, I might, hey, tomorrow when I'm on the radio, I might have to flow it like that. Okay, man, I like to ask just the most random questions. So here's one for you. What's the most embarrassing moment of your life that you would like to share? <laughs> The most embarrassing moment. Embarrassing moment yeah. of my life. Yeah. That's kind of hard. I mean, I like to laugh a lot of stuff off, but uh, I got an embarrassing moment. I don't know if it was the most, but okay, what you it got? was like uh, I was younger, and I had just um really started learning dri learning how to drive. Okay. And I feel like I was uh, out of my friends the, the last one to start driving away. I ain't had no permit, but uh. My brother was taking me to this to this pool party, and before we pulled up, I had kind of seen everybody was outside. So you know, I'm like, "Come on, bro! Like, let me pull up." You know what I'm saying? Like, let me pull up on everybody. You know, I pull up, and if I, everybody gonna be like, "Dang, Nick, drive!" You know what I'm saying? Be cool. Easy. Easy. It'll be real easy. Okay. You know, and my bro, hey, that's my big bro. He um he let me do it, but it ain't go as planned. Like I had got so excited to where. Like they on this side and I'm like beeping the horn and waving at them and that's you know I didn't jump the curve. I'm like on the grass <laughs> and my brother like swerved the wheel, yelled at me, made me get out. He dropped me off and then like it went from me having like the grand entry to everybody laughing at me at the pool party trying to put up. So that was embarrassing. I ain't gonna lie because I. I, I think everybody can understand that, man. That that probably wasn't an easy moment. Yeah, it wasn't an easy moment, but I definitely try to, you know, keep it cool, play it cool the rest of the day. Yeah, that, that'd, be, that'd be something. I, now, we all know that you're good at football, right? Outside of football, what's something that you are really good at? Something you're really good at? I feel like I'm really good at uh, making people laugh or, like, you know, bringing the... Uh, positive energy out of people. I feel like I always get like the best out of people. I don't know how, if it's if it's from a joke or just, you know, me being myself, but I always find that out. And I mean, I would feel like that's a talent. If you were to write a book, if you were to write a book tomorrow, yeah. what would that book be about? Hey man, somebody watching this might get mad, but I've been thinking of a book, you know what I'm saying, for- Really? couple years now you know okay do share and, um, do share you know what i'm saying it do it do have a little bit to do with you know my fo my football career like uh as far as like how i came into the league like not being drafted you know everybody got that undrafted story right that's what's like kind of i would lean towards that and just tell my story i feel like i got a unique story you know i um I did go to Auburn. I won a national championship, but you know I, I was undrafted. Started practice squad. Wound up playing nine games, and back then, like it was to where once you become active, you couldn't really bounce back to practice squad or not. So that my second year, it was like 53 or nothing. I wound up getting cut. Went up to Canada. Was blessed to come back. You know what I'm saying? I'm still playing. So I would kind of take my book into that. I feel like that would be easy and I could be able to, you know, write a lot about that. When you get to the part of the Seahawks, right? So you've been, you know, so you, I know your first stint was with the Kansas City Chiefs and then you went up to Canada and you came out, I think you was with the Raiders for right. a second, yep, you know what I mean? Years, yeah. I, we want to know, what does is, what is the story sound like from your time when you get with the Seahawks? How, how does that story kind of begin? What were your thoughts during the time when you first, man, you a Seattle Seahawk now? Man, hey, everything you sound like is gonna be great. You know, that chapter, uh, 
it's gonna be exciting because when I became a Seahawk, technically that day I came to work out. My girl, she was having our uh, our second child like that same day. You know what I'm saying? I'm like literally just worked out. Her mom hit me up. You know what I'm saying? Like she finna go to labor. I'm like, oh man, you know what I'm saying? Hit me on the Facetime. Let me watch it at least. You know, I wanted to be there, but then you know I want to get this job to be able to provide for them. So. I was in that situation, but I'm looking at it on FaceTime, and um, I wind up signing, you know, and the coaches hit me up, and I'm and I'm ignoring their call because I'm watching on FaceTime. And then, Are you ignoring the coaches' calls? Yeah, but at the same time, I'm like, man, they probably want me to come in and get this this this, uh, this uh, playbook down, you know what I'm saying, study. Right. You know, I just signed or whatever, but I'm like, they going to understand, you know. I just have, you know, my baby girl. So, boom. Hang up the FaceTime. Uh, call the coaches back, you know, like, tell them what happened. They like, oh, congrats, pass the phone around. You know, I'm I'm not even knowing the coaches, you know what I'm saying, from just from my workout, you know what I'm saying, but all of got on the phone with all of them. They told me congrats, that was love. I'm like, man, it's cool. Right. You know what I'm saying, it's cool being here. I feel it already. And I'm sitting down, and then I get a phone call from uh, K. Rich, I think it was, you know, defense coordinator. He like, hey, man, you know. We, uh, we got a flight for you to go home, man. You know, kiss your baby girl, man, and uh, come back tomorrow for practice. You know what I'm saying? I was like, wow. Wait, the Seahawks got you a flight to go like, home to see your baby girl? My newborn baby, man. It was a blessing, man. I was like. That's considered easy? That's easy right there, baby. <laughs> that's easy. That's easy as it gets. But that was love, though. You know? Right, right. I ain't tell nobody that they did it. I just. Popped up at the, you know, the hospital. You know, my girl probably thought it was the nurse or somebody knocking on the door. Boom, I come through. So that was that was tight, man. And you know, that says it right there. That's how I'm gonna start that chapter. So you can just I tell like right chapter, there, man. man. How, I, how it's I think be. a lot of folks would like that chapter. So wait a minute, you got you got two children. Tell two us about girls. that. Two two girls. Two girls. Ooh, easy. Easy, <laughs> man. My oldest, uh, just, she just turned four. Her name Kobe. Named after Kobe Bryant. You know, the great. Me and my girl, we, we both big Kobe fans, and we we said if we ever had, you know, a child, we would definitely name him out there, and we did. And we did, we, we told him, too, you know, uh, Visa Twitter, though. You know, hit him up. He was like, he was, he was honored. That was cool. Right. But, uh, yep, yeah, my youngest, she just turned uh, one, September 13th. So, Got two girls, house full of girls, man. I'm the only girls, man, man in the house, you know what I'm saying? I gotta hold it down. You got such a, but I, I like the whole easy deal, because, man, you got such a calm demeanor, man. And that's, uh, I, that's man, some I of the guys that. around the, the team been telling me that about you. Now, have you always been like this, even when you were younger? Were you just easy <laughs> all the time? I, I feel like I, I try to keep it cool, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no point in not keeping it cool. That's the way I look at it, you know? Right. Right. So I, I get that. Now, have you ever, is there a celebrity out there that you have met that you was excited to meet? Give us, give us one celebrity that you have met that you was real excited to meet and tell us about that story. Really, it was, um, my celebrity would have to be Marsha Falk. Wow. Running back. No, man, I was, because I was such a big, fan of his as a kid like growing up and then I just remember like I ain't really know a lot about football or a lot of people but I knew Marshall Fall I knew he was on the Rams I know we playing a game I'm getting them you know right, what I'm saying right, right. And, I, and, and then I started playing football and I never um, like ran into him or anything or even thought I would meet him and then uh, we was in London uh, with the Raiders who was playing the, um, the Miami Dolphins and I think he was a part of like the NFL network or something. He was out there and I just happened to be uh, just like uh, walking around on our free time out there. Me and um, my boy Keith McGill. And boom, I spot him like 20 feet in front of me. Like we was finna walk cross paths. I'm like, bro, that's my spot right there. And I said, what's up? We said, what's up? We chopped it up for a little minute, got a picture and all. It was cool. Oh, you got that picture too? I had to get the pic, bro. I got the pic and all. And <laughs> That was a cool experience for me, for real. Here's some here's some random questions. And here's the deal when you answer. You can't 
answer with yourself. All right. All right. Here we go. I'm going to ask you a couple of things about, kind of about your teammates a little bit. Here we go. The best dress player on your team is? Jay Lane, hands down. That's, that's Jay easy. Lane? Jeremy Lane. Okay. For, all, for those who don't know who I'm speaking of. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think a lot of folks know is Jay yeah, Lane. Hey. All right. The, the person on your team most likely to become a head coach. A head coach? Yeah, in football. Football head coach. You only pick one. I'm going to go with Russ. Okay. I mean, that's probably the, the easy way out, you know. But right. he's such a leader, you know. And, you know, through my eyes, he, he's, 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 he's such a leader. I could definitely see him leading the whole team on the other side without playing. You know? Okay. All right. All right. Uh, if you had to take a road trip, one teammate that you would want to ride with you on that road trip. <laughs> I'm taking my nephew, Dewey, a.k.a. Doodoo. Doodoo. <laughs> Doodoo oh. is riding with me, man. That's going to be a that's gonna be a fun road trip. Take right, what's, 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 what's his government name? Dewey McDonald. There we go. Dewey, Dewey, yeah. Dewey McDonald, Dewey everybody. McDonald. Dewey. And everybody call him Doodoo? Doodoo. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Hey, look, I definitely I gave him that nickname, and it kind, it kind of stuck with him, but, it's, you know, he embraced it. It's cool now. The most likely to become president, to run for president of the United States. Which one of your teammates would most likely let you can see? Yeah, I can see him running for president. Richard Sherman. Richard Sherman? <laughs> 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 nah, a lot of people probably say that too, but hell yeah, yeah. yeah for sure. Yeah, yeah, Richard yeah. Sherman, man, and I vote for him. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Um, the, the person on your team, that if you needed relationship advice, that you would go to? Relationship advice? Yeah. Who would you go to? Mm. Mm, I'll probably go back with Russ. Nah, I'll probably, nah, I'll take that back. Okay. Relationship and I have advice. I have done this. I have done this already. Oh. I have to think about it. I, I, I've, I've chose Cam. Cam Chancellor. Cam Chancellor. I mean, if you don't mind, what happened? What, 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 what I asked him? Yeah, you had to go get some I mean, relationship advice. What happened? You know, I know he's, uh, you know, recently married. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I was just picking his brain. You know, asking him about it and just asking him how did he know and all that. You know, not really trying to make him doubt himself or nothing, but just really, like, picking his brain. And then, you know, once you start picking somebody's brain, Right. If they're willing, he started, you know, opening up, talking to me. So, I, I definitely go with Cam. You, you, go, you go with Cam. All right, all right. Who, who in your family, who in your family is the most outgoing and why? The most outgoing? Yeah. Who talks the most? Who's the social butterfly in your family? Is it you, your cousin, your uncle, your brother? Oh, I can pick me? You can pick yourself. Oh, I, I definitely, I would feel like I am. I mean, yeah, I'm definitely. You know probably, probably the most I So you're born and raised in Atlanta, am I right? I was born in Detroit. I was Ooh, born Motown. in Detroit, Michigan, Motown. Yeah. Mo, yeah, all that. I, uh, all my family from Detroit, and but we, uh, my mom and my dad moved me and my brother to Atlanta. Okay. Like when I was four, so I always say Atlanta. I was raised in Atlanta, but really, like the Cater area, East Side, like 25, you know, 20, 25 minutes from Atlanta. But uh, yeah, I was raised out there. Now I know the food in Atlanta is mm. different than the food here yeah. in the Seattle area. Just a little bit, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit, you know. Oh, oh, okay, all right. So check this out. You've been here for a little bit now in Seattle. Yeah. What foods have you eaten here in Seattle that, man, you wouldn't even have tried in Atlanta? You tried sushi yet? That's what I'm finna say. I feel like I tried sushi out here when really I know I don't never touch sushi. I tried, um, I tried fried uh, eggplant. That was hitting too. 
Your boy uh, Sidney Rice made it, man. Right. He uh, he was he was telling me about how he's a uh, vegan and stuff, and how he the food we usually don't eat, but it's just the way you season it, you know. And he 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 killed it, but yo, I, I mean, I tried that. I mean, that was probably the, you you wouldn't have tried no eggplant back at the crib, huh? No, nah, I ain't trying no eggplant at the crib, <laughs> man. I probably grabbed some t- ten wing special, man. American Deli or something. Right, right now. Now, can, can you cook? What's your, how's your, how's yeah, your cook game? Yeah, I can cook. Yeah, I you, mean, how, I you, feel, how about your grits? Your grits good? Grits is busting, man. Cheese grits. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Depending on how you feeling. You know, I'm a, I like tilapia. You know, but I see out here, you know, tilapia like the bottom bottom feeder out here. You say tilapia, they be like, ugh. Hey, but bro, I'm, from, uh, what saying? <laughs> saying? I'm from Chicago. You know what I'm saying? Hey, bro, I'm from tilapia. Hey, like, oh, that's it's the like, fish oh, pie. Fancy. You feel me? Oh you, oh, you have a tilapia? Oh, you, you fancy, You huh? winning. You winning. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I cook me some grits and some tilapia or something. Or some now, my man, have you had halibut out here yet? I have had I had the halibut at, um, I think it was stuffed halibut, too, with some um, lobster or something. It was hitting. What? It was it was a, just one restaurant in the landing. I'm not sure of the name. I think it's the Pacific or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Was it uh, Wild Fan? Or, uh, anyway. Yep, yep. Wild, Wild Fan. Fan. I think yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The holiday is hitting. Now, how about coffee? You drink coffee out here? I should have threw that in there too. I be, I mean, way more coffee than I ever drunk. Same ever, here. man. Same ever. <laughs> And then, then I found one that I like too, so it's like, hey, I take one. Yeah, man, same here. I, I didn't start drinking coffee till I till I got here. Here's one for you, Nico. Let's say you were sitting down and you needed to write a letter to 15 year old Nico right yeah, now. Right now. What would you say to 15 year old Nico right now? How long this letter is, and what part you want to know? Cause <laughs> hey, I'm gonna break it down. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, so, ooh, okay, okay, I don't wanna, okay. I don't wanna well, man, how about, how, 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 about, how about this? We riding, we chilling, so go ahead, enlighten us. What, what, what would you say? You can start from the beginning, middle, end. Tell us what you would say to 15-year-old Nico. First, I say stretch. Stretch? Stretch, man. Hey, stretch, because it's going to pay off. You know what I'm saying? Nah, but I always kid around like, I feel like if I was more flexible, man, my game would be even more on point. So I definitely would tell my younger self, sit down and stretch, young man. Okay. But nah, I, I, <laughs> on a serious <laughs> note, though, I would, uh, I would say, man, just, just stay hungry, you know, and uh, it's gonna be a lot of stuff that's gonna make a lot of roadblocks or whatever. Just don't get discouraged. I would just motivate myself. You know what I'm saying? To not give up, not necessarily change no path or nothing. Just, just that way when the times is hard, you know, when it was real hard and they ain't really know any better, you know what I'm saying? Before I really went through some things and knew that that was what was going to make me, right. I probably enlighten myself like that, you know. Okay. For okay. sure. All right. Well, that, that's, that's, that's some cool love and, and, and words of inspiration for 15-year-old Nico. Yeah. Nico, what's that? Uh, You know, we don't get a chance to, man. I don't usually like to ask y'all about work, but I, I got to ask this, man. What's that What's that DB room like? What's it like being in there with Earl, Cam, Sherm? Man. I can keep going. What What's that like, man? It's love. It's uh, it's cool as hell. I ain't going to lie. Every, every day... It's something new, you know what I'm saying? It's never a dull moment. And it's so much wisdom and so much talent in there, excuse me, to where, you know what I'm saying? Like, a guy like me can't do nothing but respect it. You know, I take it for what it is every day. And uh, I embrace every moment. Man, you love special teams, huh? Hey, you know me, hey, special teams, bro, for special players, don't forget that. Special teams for special players? Yeah, that's man. Easy. Yeah, hey, that's easy, baby. Yeah, boy, you love that special team. Why, why you love special teams so much, Nico? Because, man, really, special teams, I feel like, embrace me. You know what I'm saying? Special teams slow the game down for me a lot to where, you know, when people counted me out, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, like I'm still here. You know what I'm saying? And, once I found out what special teams was, he ain't nothing but just, you know what I'm saying, showing your grit. Right. 
you know, it's a it's a play that's gonna last no more than 15 seconds, and it's a like really gonna be like a one-on-one battle majority of the time, or or a two-on-one battle. You know what I'm saying? And then it's that it's that 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 mindset. You know. I heard uh, I heard from Birdie that when you was hurt, right? You were hurt, but yet you still were holding up cards for your special teams coach, Brian Snyder, He's, during practice. That's right. You that dedicated, bro? <laughs> I'm saying, hey, man, you got to be professional. That's the way I look at it. Hey, this is my job, man. And you know what I'm saying? This is my love. Right. I love the game. The game been good to me, man. I'm just trying to, you know, stay here as long as, long as I can and just be productive. And even though I'm out, you know, I can't stop learning or right. teaching. There's guys who don't have to step in for me when I'm out, you know what I'm saying, or somebody else out, I step in for them. Now, I mean, we all know how uh, your head coach, Pete Carroll, we know that he's a great coach, X and O's, all that. Outside of football, is there something Pete Carroll has taught you since you've been here on this team? Yeah. Okay. Uh, he taught me. He taught me that it's that it's, it's real it's real men out here, you know what I'm saying? Even in even in this business to where, you know, everybody say like, you know, you don't know the other side of it, you know, the business side or whatever, the politics, but Pete, he a he a solid guy. He a, he a real good guy, he a good guy by heart, he a real leader, you know. And he always preached to us, you know, just do the right thing and don't make shit up. And that's some real spill right there, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you could just, every day, you know what I'm saying, try to do the right thing, don't make nothing up. When he you know says, what? when he says, don't make anything up, can you explain a little bit about that? Like, don't like, make, don't nothing, make up. nothing up, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm pretty sure I'm not the first guest on your show, you know what I'm saying? So when you got prepared to do this show, you got your camera set up, one and two, you know what I'm saying? You ain't finna just all of a sudden, put four or five more cameras in here in the back or put some extra, you know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna just make nothing up. You're gonna, you're gonna keep it the same, you know what I'm saying? Don't make nothing up and you'll be all right. That's the way, you know, Coach be preaching to us and, and I like it. I like that. I, I, I really do like that. Now, okay, so you, you're, real, you're real easy, you're real calm, collected. During game days, are you this calm like this too? Oh, uh, man, I feel like... Or do I you be change different. into I a be, different person? I don't know, man. I be I be so into, like, the moment. I can't tell you what I look like. I can tell you what I feel. I be feeling good, you know what I'm saying? I'm a, like the music, like you said. I get my music. I'm, I'm one of the dudes probably, if we, we leave the hotel, like we got to go to the stadium, and it's like a 30-minute ride to the stadium. I'm the one dude who, who bouncing the whole time. Like, you know what I'm saying? I might... I like to feel my music and stuff, but right. you know everybody got their rituals. You know what they like to do before the game and stuff like that to keep them keep them calm and collective. This Sunday, you guys got the Houston Texans coming to town. Yes, sir. What's that like knowing you got a home game and, and playing in front of that that, that them twelves and that crowd? Bro? Hey, it's amazing, baby. Especially when you coming out the road. Yeah. And then you know we had some twelves out there. We was hey, we was kind of deep. It was kind of loud. Right. Like I'm talking about Luke called a pass. You thought everybody in there knew he was Luke. Like Luke, them the twelves, you know. And we appreciate that. So just to be able to, to know that we coming back home, man. we gonna get that energy. It's exciting. It's exciting. You know what I hope, man? I hope. I hope this Sunday. On a special team, Woo! like you know what I'm saying, like Keep you go on, on punt hey. or, or, or kick off a turn, and, 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 and you brother. going down, yes. and you go make a big hit, Woo! and then the whole crowd go, what they say, easy, <laughs> <laughs> easy, hell yeah, man, look, y'all listen, y'all watching this, hey, that'll be love. <laughs> oh man, man, hey, look at you thinking. Now, how can they find you on Twitter? You on Twitter? Uh, yeah, I'm on Twitter, Instagram. Snap, it's all the same. It's just my first name, Nico, N E I K O 15, 1 5. Okay, Nico 1 5. Hit him up with the hashtag easy. Easy. Let him know you saw this. You yeah. Know I mean? Now, 
Um, I got to tell you, man. I, I, last year, even the first time I heard of you, I said, Nico Thorpe, bro, you got a cold name, bro. Man, you got hey. a cold name. Shout out to Pops, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey. <laughs> Man, look, I wanted to win the Thorpe Award, too. In college, you know I did with the last name Thorpe. Oh, man, man I wanted that thing so bad, but you know what I'm saying? My past was other ways, but right. I'm blessed right. to be where I'm at. But that would have been tight. Man. Thorpe winning the Thorpe, Thorpe Award. Now, I tell you what would be real tight, win a national championship in the Super Bowl. Man, I already thought about it. I already, I, every time I reminisce and look at my rings, man. I'd be like, man, I just need that Super Bowl. I did miss my uh, my high school uh, championship, but my little brother and them, they won it back to back when I graduated. Okay. But, the, but you, but you my said senior the, you year, said the yeah, my senior year, we we lost. Right. We lost the semifinals, the game before in the Georgia Dome to uh, Northside Warren Roberts. Man, I'll never forget that game, 08. But what you know what I'm saying? you playing offense too? Yeah, I played receiver and uh, and DB and safety, we played like a three-three-five, so I was more like an outside linebacker kind of a safety, okay. down, you know, like a rover. Okay. But yeah, man. Man, I saw I saw in high school you were rivals had you. You was a three-star. Yeah, man. I should have been a five-star, man. They would sleep on me, man. They would sleep on you. <laughs> <laughs> they would sleep on yeah. me, nah. But that drove me, man. That drove me always. I feel like I've been. Slept on my whole What life. kind of advice? I'm sure right now that there's some parents and or some kids right now that are listening and watching this right now. What kind of advice do you have for the parents and children that are involved with sports? Um, I would say, you know, to the parents, mm -hmm. you know, you uh, young kids, you know, you put them in it and then just from there on, let them let them find their love in it. You know, you see a lot of parents like to push their kids and like to live through them, and I hate seeing that. Cause I know me personally, before I even play football, my people didn't even ask me. Like I asked them, could I play? And then once I played, I started having a little success, and then I fell in love with it. So it was easier for me. But I would say it's definitely good. I would say football taught me a lot. It taught me discipline. It taught me, you know, just the right from wrong. So I would say that helps, you know, parents if you if you have your kids in, in the sports. Man, how about to the kids? Listen and to the kids, man. I say it start with your grades. Ooh, you know, how important the, the grades important. Them grades is important, man. Them grades is important. If you forget them grades, you can be forgot yourself. Man. No matter the talent. So I, I tell you right now, I start with the grades. And then it just, it go from there, just your work ethic and just not giving up. And just, just know it's gonna be a long, it's gonna be a long road, but you, you only strong as you go. So you know, a lot, of, up, man. A lot of kids don't know, speaking of classroom and grades, how much time you guys as professionals spend in the classroom? Oh man, <laughs> if we ain't on the field, we in that classroom. Yeah. So hey, yeah. it's well, definitely important. Well, Nico, man, I appreciate you driving with G, my man. man I appreciate uh, man, you, man. Oh, love, brother. Easy. And uh, you got any any messages to the 12s right now you want to tell them? Hey, 12s, hey, I want to say I appreciate y'all. Hey, the team, we appreciate y'all. Look forward to seeing this Sunday, baby. Let's get it. Take on the Texans. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.